this is Ryan here with John, Joe, and Mike. Hi. 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 And welcome to this very special anniversary video celebrating the fourth year of C-Jam history. Now, we did have some special guests here tonight, but unfortunately, they were too busy to come because they were too busy. So please welcome Cameron, one of our special guests for tonight. What is up, bitches? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. we're all very excited to present to you with the history of our um, YouTube careers. So just sit back and relax and enjoy this special presentation. Hey guys, it's Cameron. So in September 2010, I was watching CJMTT vid a lot and very interested in what they did with their channel. One day, Nikki and I contacted Justin, curious and learning what it's like to operate a collaborative channel like theirs. In December 2010, I was watching CGM videos very often and was interested in the activity done on the channel. I confronted Cameron via Skype one day and learned about his experience on the channel. He introduced me to Connor and Justin shortly afterwards, and I socialized with them quite often. They invited me to the channel after I proved that I had the potential to make the channel grow if I released some presentable content. Wait a minute, Cameron never introduced me to him, he fucking said he was Justin, and then, like, I actually called him back, and, and I'm like, hey, like, hey, Justin, and he's like, how do you know my name? Like, I just talked to you, um, what was it, like, um, I, I, an hour ago or something. He replies, no, you didn't. Then we found out it was Cameron. So I don't know why this day was impersonating him, but whatever. <laughs> The channel was growing rapidly with a vast number of videos being presented on CJMTTVid. Each member had their own unique series and schedule on the channel. With several members on the channel, we had our own unique series ranging from tutorials to tips and tricks. We also designated ourselves with schedules that don't conflict with each other. Using this method, we were able to present our viewers with content as often as we could. This would ensure that our fan base would continue to grow rapidly. The channel was revived shortly after and renamed CJMTTVid 2.0. We informed our fanbase what happened and told them the content was going to still be produced. Nikki had been inactive in the channel, so he was replaced with another member, Ryan. Hey guys, it's Ryan. It seems like a dream came true to be invited into CJM crew. I never would have expected an opportunity like this in my life. I had contact with Mike over Toontown and wanted to meet the CJM cast. It was an amazing to meet each and every member, and they informed me of an opening in the channel I qualified for. They requested an audition video, and I was automatically accepted because I was the only candidate for the position.
I was a devoted fan of CGMT TV, and when I heard about auditions, I was very interested and decided to make a video. It was to my surprise to be contacted in regards to making the cut. I was shy meeting people I looked up to, but got comfortable after a while. It was an honor being p part of the channel, and I'm thankful to still be in touch with the members to this day. We had a very good reputation until late July 2011, when Ryan and I got into an argument over a controversial video that he made. Ryan was demoted from his position on the channel and was replaced with Cameron. We didn't get along very well after this incident, but eventually we made up in the future. After resolving a couple issues, the channel was going uphill and our audience continued to grow. All members were getting along and there was excellent feedback from our fans. Around late July, Connor introduced me to a game we still play to this day, Minecraft. As a result, introducing one final member to CGMTTVid, Reed, in replacement of Daniel, who was kicked for inactivity. When I heard that the CJMTTVid members were playing Minecraft, it immediately sparked my interest in joining. I have played Toon Town as well, but gained an additional passion with Minecraft. I did Cameron on Skype, and he eventually introduced me to all the other members. I got invited to join the channel after they informed me that they had an open position. I accepted the invitation and started making videos with them. Since CJM was playing Minecraft, I thought it would be a good idea to create a Minecraft-oriented channel for CJM members. I called it CJM Minecraft and opened it for the CJM TT members to use. There was a point in time where we all took a break from Toontown to play some Minecraft, also recording content for CJM Minecraft. Unfortunately, we were distracted from our Toontown careers with Minecraft, resulting in drama between the members. Some of us thought of discontinuing CGMTTVid and moving on to Minecraft, while others wanted CGMTTVid to remain. The debate on whether we would close CGMTTVid or not was getting out of control, and the day eventually came that CGM was permanently shut down anonymously. And on December 10th, 2011, due to bad grades, I would gotten banned from the computer for a week. I had also gotten banned from the computer for a week at the same time because I uploaded an inappropriate video on my personal channel called Faggots with Leaves that I took at school. There were no other active members at the time, so nobody was around to create and upload videos. Michael had disappeared at the, at the time, and we didn't know where he was. Connor had stopped talking to us to play HeroCraft with other friends, and we didn't hear from him for the longest time. Reed was also inactive. Michael had actually bypassed some security measures at his school and had access to a lot of information on his school computers. He had lost access to the computer and had to gain his parents' trust back to get on the computer. About a week later, when Ryan got back onto the computer, he started talking to John again. So I go on a Skype call with him and I ask him, Hey John, remember that YouTube channel CJ Minecraft? And then John goes, Yeah? We should make videos again. You don't say, says John. So we started making videos again together to bring the channel back from its inactivity. Mainly recording Minecraft videos, hence the name CJ Minecraft, the videos mostly featured only me and Ryan since everybody else was still inactive. A lot of our older videos were considerably low quality featuring my horrible microphone from my old Mac computer, which was very loud and hard to understand, as well as my Vio laptop, which lagged a lot on Minecraft. We also were spending a lot of time working on our Minecraft server, known at the time as GRCraft, which stood for Granoff Ryancraft. So yes, it stood for Ryan's Minecraft name. The main world, GRCity, had started in November of 2011 by me on my own Hamachi server. John later then moved into his server that had proper port forwarding and such. We then invited some friends on to help build. At the time, GR City was still very small and didn't have a lot in it. Nowadays, GR City is much bigger. Most of what is currently in GR City was built around late 2011 to 2012. The server also changed a bit over time due to various plugins we used, which would eventually become outdated and we'd have to get rid of them. This included plugins such as MC Casino and the elevator plugins. Yes, GR City used to have slot machines and elevators, as seen in some of our older videos.
So while me and Ryan were making videos for the channel working on GRCraft, where were the others? We had other members of the channel who we weren't even talking to. What happened to them? After I returned, Ryan and I were getting mad at each other regarding some disagreements. Then at some point, when I was at school, I talked to a friend who I'm just going to be calling Bob. Particularly, I expressed my frustration with Ryan and how he was so self-centered. Bob then told me to give him a warning that if he didn't rename the server, then he would attack the server constantly. He told me that he would not abort the attack unless they agreed to his terms. This is an experience I also regret to this day, but John at the time understood my frustration and made the necessary steps to make sure that Bob was appeased. But Ryan was another story. Trying to convince him to change the, the name was impossible. Hey, John should get some credit. Nobody would even know about John because he is completely in the dark in terms of visible contributions. And I was like, I do, I do. I give him credit because he hosts the server. And then I go, you need to put John in the title. It just isn't fair that John's contributions are mostly unnoticed. And I was like, Mike, bitch, please. I mean, really. The rest of the members, like Reed and Connor, were either busy or were doing other things. Connor was playing HeroCraft, and Reed, well, we don't know exactly what he was up to. Mike ended up coming back to CGM after we changed the server name from GRCraft to SASCraft, and he made videos again. The others, well, they were nowhere to be found. But that was mostly okay. We were still able to make videos and work on SASCraft. So, during the summer of 2012, Guess what game we were playing? And no, it was not Minecraft, nor was it Wizard 101. I didn't even start playing Wizard 101 until 2013. We were playing Toontown. Are you kidding me? Yes, we were playing Toontown. For whatever reason, Mike and John decided to stop playing Minecraft to play Toontown. No videos were being made, and I didn't even want to play Toontown all that much. I was secretly playing Wizard101 on Mike's account, and he didn't even notice because he was caught up on playing Toontown with John. WHAT?! We were all making fun of each other for playing different games, saying one game is horrible and whatnot. None of us were really playing the same game at the time. In September of 2012, GRCraft was officially renamed to SASCraft, and we began playing Minecraft again and working on GR City. We opened the server up to the public a few times, but due to school, we had to close it. We also opened up our first website in 2012, but it was really bad. We had, to, we had also quit Toontown around this time to play Minecraft. And then, around November of 2012, Mike was kicked out of CJM. What did he do this time? A couple months back, Mike was making suggestions or additions to SASCraft that I did not agree with. So, Mike created a new server called MC Universe. At the time, Mike was doing tutorials, and in one tutorial that he made on CJM that was featured on MC Universe. That's right. The whole reason I was kicked out was because I made a video featuring MC Universe. The worst part about it was it took around four months for Ryan to tell me why I was kicked out. At the time, I was surrounded by a community of friends on MCU, so instead of talking things out, I just decided to leave since the ban was not reasonable at all, and I gave Ryan the proper distance from the server and did not interfere, yet I still got banned. Which, to this day, still kind of haunts me. So yet again, it was just me and Ryan. So fast forward to 2013, specifically in February, CGM got its very first viral video, the Fraps video, which was made by me. After we started getting a significant amount of views on the Fraps video that topped all of our other videos on the channel, a friend of mine named Tyler suggested that we get a partnership with Buzz My Videos. Probably the shittiest YouTube network that you can get. Freedom's even better than that, sh than that network. It gives absolutely no benefits whatsoever. 
You'd be better off just using freaking regular YouTube partnership. The Fraps video continues to be our most viewed video, with around 36,000 views at the time of recording this video. Before summer, not much was getting done since we were all busy with school. But starting in the summer, though, a few things happened. Michael had returned to CGI Minecraft, and Joe had joined the channel. By the summer of 2013, we had all mostly quit Toon Town. We sometimes logged in occasionally for short periods of time, but it wasn't a game we'd primarily play. We were playing Minecraft, and a game we all play right now? Wizard 101! Well, not me. I was not playing Wizard 101 at the time, and wasn't really willing to try it out. I was excited to join CGM as I was a fan of CGM TTVid. I had also been talking to them for a while before I joined. In mid-August of 2013, I was in Florida. While in Florida, I heard that Toontown was being shut down, along with two other Disney MMOs. At this point, I decided to quit Toontown entirely, since it'd be a waste of time to keep playing it. When John got back from Florida in August, he noticed me and Mike had started uploading Wizard 101 videos to the channel. John wanted to get involved, so we decided to try out Wizard 101. So yeah, I saw the Let's Play videos made by Mike and Ryan and I was like, well, I've never played Wizard 101 before, but I'll give it a shot. I decided to give Wizard 101 a try. I made a free account and completed a couple of quests, and I liked it. I was like, damn, this is better than Toontown. So I got a membership and joined in on the Wizard 101 Let's Play. Around this time, we decided that our channel should no longer be named CGI Minecraft because we did not want to be restricted to just Minecraft content and we didn't want to have to create multiple channels. So, we decided to rename the channel to CGI Network so we could just make it a gaming channel rather than just Minecraft content. While recording the Wizard 101 Let's Play for the majority of 2013, we also began playing Steam games such as Team Fortress 2 and other games, and we recorded some of these. During 2013, we relaunched our website in SASCraft. These, yet again, proved not to survive and were shut down. As John said, we played a lot of Steam games in 2013, and we also recorded our very first holiday specials in 2013. This included the Thanksgiving special and the Christmas special, and we continued our Wizard 101 Let's Play. And welcome to 2014. A considerable amount of things happened in 2014 to both the channel and the members of the channel. So let's go over them. So, starting off, the Wizard 101 Let's Play had silently cancelled. This was because I had lost access to all my wizards and my membership. And everybody else just wanted to play the game without being on a schedule. The whole reason Ryan lost his wizard started off from an agreement that me and Ryan made when I rejoined the channel. Now, I would pay for his membership. In exchange, I also gave him a wizard that he raised on my account without my knowledge and I was fine with that but once Ryan kicked me out again for inactivity which wasn't even accurate at the time I was on vacation taking a break and my own personal channel is um, had the feature where I can schedule videos to be uploaded and set itself the public at a set date CGM Network never had that, and Ryan never knew that I did have that feature. I think I mentioned it to him once, but he probably forgot. Anyway, I was kicked out, and again, I wasn't notified until like a couple, instead of a couple months, it was just a couple days later. I was like, why can't I get access to the account? And then um, John said, like, talk to Ryan, and then he told me he was kicked out by a vote. Um, there is a video annotation that should appear right now that, like, shows my announcement video of getting kicked out of CGM. You can watch that. Um, if you want more information on the incident, like I said, go check my channel. Um, this pretty much just made me take the, his wizard because I wasn't in CGM anymore. He shouldn't have... I canceled the membership, took the wizard because... Technically, I did create it, and I raised it from level freaking 20, and um, 
I, I stopped using it after level 20. And I never... Re it, it was Michael Dean Fountain for a reason. It was originally mine. That's why it was Michael Dean Fountain and not Ryan Dean Fountain. And... Now, the whole reason why I took his wizard was because of that agreement. When I was kicked out of CJM for the second time, I didn't see any worthwhile reason that Ryan should have the wizard because, or should have the membership. So in that case, since push comes to shove, and when I was shoved out for no freaking reason where... In inactivity was the reason... But there is more behind it. What happened after my reaction to it backfired. You can see that in the video that I mentioned before. But anyway. After that I'm like you know what. I don't want to hang out with these people. I don't think they should have access to. The stuff I provided. So I cut it out entirely. Because I was paying for the membership. I registered the account. And. It was under my name. So. I did that because I wasn't there anymore. And anyone else saying, oh, if you got kicked out for a reason that was complete BS, you would take all the benefits you were providing. There's no reason why you should be paying 100 bucks a month for a group you're not in. No, that's nothing. That That's just unreasonable. Therefore, I, I reacted within reason. In 2014, we also started playing Minecraft yet again, and even made a Sasquatch trailer and continued working on GR City. Since Ryan had lost his wizards, he had to start all over again, and he still didn't have membership, so he wasn't really playing that much at the time. So the minute I quit Wizard101, we started playing lots of Minecraft. We uploaded a couple UHC videos, as well as some server griefing videos, and some other games as Team Fortress 2, Board Game Online, and Toontown Rewritten, believe it or not. On the topic of Toontown, we started playing Toontown again in 2014. That's right, because with the death of Toontown Online marked the private server era with servers such as Toontown Rewritten, Toontown House, and more. Videos of Toontown Written and Toontown House can be found on our channel. In September 2014, we also reunited with one of the members from CJMTTVid slash CJMinecraft, Reed! He started playing Toontown Rewritten with us, and we started talking to him often. He sends us Snapchat stories every single day. However, we were quickly rejected because of the copyrighted content on our channel, and we were unable to reapply again for a duration of time that we didn't think was worth waiting. In the long run, we ended up applying to TGN, a sub-network for Broban TV, which was a lot better in the long run. We actually get better partner benefits than Buzz My Videos provided to us, and we introduced a scheduling system to our videos. We also reunited with some of the original CGMTT vid members who we hadn't talked to since 2011, Connor and Justin. We had a big CGM reunion with most of the original CGM crew. While reuniting with Connor also got us back some videos from CGMTT vid. These have been found on our channel under CGMTT vid time capsule, and there are probably more to be found as well, which will still be uploaded as we discover them. So that about wraps up everything that's happened with CGM from 2011 to now, which is August 19, 2015, five years after CGM was initially started as CGM TDVid by Connor, Justin, and Michal. There was still a lot more in the works for CGM Network, including more of the Wizard 101 Let's Play, as well as some other games. So thanks for watching this very long anniversary video. We hope you enjoyed the history of CGM. More videos coming soon. See ya. See ya.